today we're out here, the spawn is over. We're in early summer. I wanna show you some tricks to help you fish the Ned Rig with more success. There we go, right off the rip. So here's what I'm doing. What I'm focusing on is grass flats that come out off of spawning areas and I'm looking for more gradual transitions. I'm not looking for super, super sharp drops. I'm looking for gradual transitions. And what I'm doing is a technique called feathering. I'm gonna show you how to feather a Ned Rig down a grass edge in a second here after I land this one. Let's get this guy in the boat here. Woo. All right, I'm, I'm happy with that. So what I'm doing is I'm fishing the Ned Dinger and I'm really excited because they got a bunch of new colors out now and I'm throwing GB Haze. So I'm doing a technique, it's called feathering. And when you use this technique, you want the lightest, lightest possible weight you can. And so basically what I do is I'm throwing it up on a, on a grass edge that's not sharp. It's high grass up there, I let it sink. As soon as it stops sinking, I shake the rod until it comes through the grass, and then I let it fall again, and now it's gonna fall to the next level. And I do the same thing over again, and it's gonna fall to the next level. It's a real subtle technique, and I'm just working it nice and easy up and over, down. I'm just keeping it on top of the grass. I'm not letting it bury up in. I'm keeping it on top. And the nice thing about this technique is you don't really get hung up in the grass even though you're throwing an open hook. You don't get hung up in the grass too much. Because you're using such a light weight, it's literally landing on top of the grass and all I'm doing is shaking it down the grass. There we go. You see that? As soon as I feathered it down and it came off of that edge, this is a pretty good fish, I think. Either that or it's got me all boogered up in the grass. Uh-oh. Now nah, this might be a good one. It's all about, I'm telling you guys, it's all about location when you're fishing these Ned Rigs. The location is so critical and your retrieve technique is also very critical. I'm gonna have to grab this guy, I think. Now, let's see. Yep. That was a rookie move. <laughs> now here, I'm gonna show you something. This fish is totally, completely spawned out. You see her tail's flat, rubbed raw over here. She's got the concave belly. This is a post-spawn female. She was exactly where she was supposed to be. Look at her. Tail's all, look at that. Tail's all bloody. She's got a concave belly. This fish is recovering from after the spawn. So the area that I chose, again, is a lead-in spot for when they wanna go to spawn but it's also the same place they're gonna use when they leave the spawn. That's the important part, because if you're, truthfully, if you're not catching big bass when you're Ned fishing, you're probably fishing in the wrong areas. There we go. You know, fishing the Ned rig can be an absolute blast. You catch tons of fish doing it. Go to LureNet.com, check out the new Ned Dinger colors. Whoa, <laughs> that's not a bad fish. Check out the new Ned Dinger colors, pick some up, go out, give these locations a try. And you have fun too. <laughs>